Roger here. I would say that Mike's got an exceptional level of weed control in his brambles. I'm really, I'm really impressed. Uh, brambles are really hard to keep perennials like thistles and, and ground ivy out of. And he's done an excellent job of doing that. His weed control program is pretty simple, but he, he's using sin, the herbicide Sinbar. I mentioned Sinbar earlier on strawberries. And it's nice to have a herbicide that you can use on more than one crop. So Sinbar, you know, you can use it on strawberries. You can use it on, you can use it on, on brambles as well. Uh, it works on brambles best on heavy clay soils. If you've got some really light sands, you need to be careful with Sinbar. And keep your rates real low and maybe just test it a little bit before you try it on the wholesale. Because on those sandy soils, it's got the potential to cause some damage. This heavy clay, and uh, in my experience doing test plots with, with blackberries, uh, blackberries are, are very tolerant of Sinbar and it's worked very well for me and Mike's actually using the same rate I've used in my test plots which is about one and a half pounds of Sinbar to the acre and he also used some um, Gramoxone with that spray. Gramoxone is a burn off, it's like a chemical lawnmower. It doesn't kill the root of many things but it burns the top off. And he did this real early in April, late March, before there was any growth. So you can see we're two, two and a half, three months into that now and he's still got an extremely high level of weed control. He's got a very dense canopy there, so that's helping him. And of course that really dense canopy, vigorous growth is one reason why it's a little easier to control weeds in a bramble planting than it would be in a strawberry planting if everything is sort of equal. But I think the most important thing that Mike has done there, and I'm going to wrap up with this, is that he's planted his both of these crops into a field that he's prepared well before planting. So he's gotten rid of the perennial weeds. Perennials like thistle, you know, the, if you look at this, it's got a six inch sprout on it. This is really not a root, this is a shoot. And, and this has probably emerged from a root system that's another foot down in the soil. And this, all of what you see here is just to get it out of the ground. And before you plant the perennial crop, you need to get rid of this type of material. If it's still in your soil and alive when you plant a, a perennial crop, you're going to have it for the life of that planting. You can't really get rid of it afterwards. All you can do is try with varying levels of success to manage it. So you need to get the site prepared properly. And uh, you know, it's almost too much for us to talk about today, but certainly you know, spraying the field the year before you plant with, with Roundup, doing some pretty intensive tillage and maybe some cover cropping to help get it ready. All of those things can contribute to having a more successful venture. So, questions? <laughs>